There we go. Let's just paste it in. And... Okay, there we go. Oh, yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yes! So if you guys do know, the past few days, the entire Mad City community has been like super stressed over this new badge. And it's like crazy. The question mark, question mark badge has just made people like, whoa. So yeah, the past few days, we have found out more information over, over time. Like, you know, t t this morning I did upload a video on everything we know, but around that time, people have found out a lot more. So I'm going to show you what we sort of found out. Basically, there were seven locations. So seven locations were not scam locations. They didn't do that to mislead us, the developers. So basically, as you can see, this is one of the locations over here. And the location basically will have a little flat spot that looked pretty odd. And you basically will type a code out of Morse code. And it mostly, um, the people who found out, you know, basically who decoded the Morse code, whatever, I don't know about it. But it was mostly like organized chaos who was streaming about it. And they basically decoded a lot of it. So I, we didn't have to. And he basically told all of us how to do it. So anyway, I am the 69th person to actually get this. And yeah, it has some really cool stuff. But we can go that at the end. So here, I'll just show you a brief summary because I was just recording. I was just pausing the recording and putting the recording like I was just doing the steps. So you will see me do it, but I'll just give you how you start it. So you first start it by going to one of these spots. There's seven of them. So this is one of them. And right here are some codes. As you can see right over here, these are the codes that basically people found out and stuff. So as you can see, that was from the pyramid. So I'm going to actually copy that. So... That was in the pyramid. I'm going to copy that really quickly. And I'm going to go over here and actually just paste that in. You can type it in. If you're on mobile, I guess you can copy and paste, but you can type that in. And you just look up. If there's no box on top, that means it does not work there. So you have to head over to another location. So there's another one near the red house. So I'm going to go all the way over there. And here it is. There's the random flat spot. And I'm just going to paste in this code. These This this code will be at the end of the video. So, you know, in the description and the pinned comment. So you can just check it out. They're all the stats are there. As you can see, there's no crate. So I'm going to go to another place. Also, if to know that if you typed in the correct thing, it should say message re redacted. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But it should say that. And if it says that, that means you type the code correctly. And um, yeah, if you even if you say that randomly, that means you have the correct code. Oh, also, I'm stuck here. That is also pretty great. Okay, cool. All right, so here's a place right over here at the pyramid. As you can see, there. I mean, not on the pyramid, at the nightclub. As you can see, there's a little flat space. So I'm just gonna type that code in and look at the top. And look, there's a box. So look at that. It just falls right down. So you don't want to actually go on top of your head. So you can just like go over right here, and there it is. Now you just hold E. And then you get it. So now you gotta go over to all of the locations and basically do this. But uh, you get this is one of them. So you gotta do this three times. And I'll have all the stuff in the comment section. And I'll basically show you how to do it. But now we just head over to the red house. So now we are at approaching the red house. Basically, just hop right in and go up here. If you guys don't know the drill, you go all the way up to the attic. Hold E and then the bookshelf just slides open and you're able to go right into the basement and then now you go to the side There's an E right then you just hold E and One of the shovel pieces will be put right here So as you can see there's that one of the shovel pieces and you got to get three of them So you got to go to any of these X locations type in the code all of them will be in the pinned comment So you can do it yourself go to any of these if there's a box drop down get that then come over here place it until you got three of them and then you have the shovel and now let me just show you the clips where i actually did it because this is just showing you to get you know the start you know so here it is all right so we're just waiting for the spawn okay right over here now the crate has dropped we just waited a little bit as you can see and now we have got the shovel handle so now let's just head all the way over back and use this so we'll just head all the way over give me a sec all right. Okay, so let's just head all the way up here. And there we go. The bookshelf slides open. And now let's just go and use our shovel parts. And this is our first one. Let's just do that really quickly. And hold E. There we go. And now let's go get other shovel parts. 
All right, so the past two locations didn't work, but I'm not going to let you guys see that because, you know, it just didn't work. So if it doesn't work, I'll just head over to a new one. So this one is near the red house. And, you know, I have it copy and paste. So I'm just going to paste it right there. It says that. And let me look up. Is it coming? Let me see. I'll paste it again. Oh, there it is. It's here. Okay, so you, you maybe you want to put it twice sometimes, but there you go. We got it. Now let's just hold E. And there we go. Since we're really close to the red house, we can just literally just run there. Which is cool, and I actually want to spawn a cobra right outside, so I can just get there quickly, you know? Yeah, I'm, it's, just, it's just called Big Brain, alright? So let's just head in, you know, there we go. Alright, now let's just use it. There we go. So, now we need one more left. Alright, so we're here, last one, and boom, there we go. As you can see, we have a full shovel, and you can tell if you got it by, there's a little sound. So now we gotta look for a pin. So now since we got the shovel, we gotta dig up a fuse. So let's go look for the pin. Okay, there's the pin right over there, as you can see. The best thing you can do is just take a screenshot of this. So I actually have a screenshot of it. All right, so I finally found mine. Uh, just use your shovel and hold E, as you can see. It sort of looks like watermelon seed, so it's much easier to spot during the daytime. But I just pinpointed where it was and i just went forward and i found it it actually took a really long time to find because i wasn't that sure if it's over the mountain or under the mountain all right so we're back at the house now so let's just go all the way up here to the attic let's just open the door there we go you can hear that sound and now as you can see there's that pinpoint you can use your shovel to open the door into the rocket passage or that's what people call it or the teleporter room you know and now you place down your fuse right here and there's this random message that says right over here but it's supposed to give you a clue but now you just need to do so I just got to give most of the credit to Organized Chaos because he mostly did a lot of live streams and his viewers and a lot of fans just helped him do this. So it wouldn't be possible because he actually decoded the Morse codes and a lot of stuff. And also, I'm pretty sure he also helped find out what to do at the very end. So right now, we actually have to go over to the pyramid and the casino and also the bank to get a secret part. So let's do that really quickly. So I wasn't able to show the footage of where I got the teleporter part in the bank, but I'll just tell you how to get it. It's pretty straightforward. So just uh, rob it as a criminal or get a criminal to rob it for you. Then you can get it as a hero and then basically go inside the vault and there should be a yellow part there and just hold E and you should get it. Then go back to the house and turn it in. That's where I am right now. Okay, now I'm just putting the bank teleporter part into the teleporter. So there we go. We did the first stage is complete. Now I'm getting the teleporter part in the casino. And keep in mind that you got to do it in order. So do the bank first, then do the casino, then do the pyramid. And also keep in mind that once you did, like, for example, you do the bank, you got to go back to the red house, put it into the teleporter, and then do the casino, put that in the teleporter, you know, so on and so on. So let's go put this back into the teleporter. All right, so we're about to turn in this teleporter part in. So let's just head down here in the secret basement and there we go so let's put in number five teleport part there we go hold e and boom two out of three parts done so now we just got to wait for the pyramid to open i think i can just still do it okay whatever but you can see the pyramid is still closed so i just got to wait for that so we put in the bank and now we put in the casino now we just got to do the pyramid all right so the pyramid is open and we're finally near the vault so here we go there it is now we just gotta hold e and get it there we go we just quickly got that as you can see this is the last teleporter part now i'm just gonna make this out alive and we should be good the good thing is if you actually die you actually respawn with the shovel so it doesn't really matter if you die but i'm actually not that sure about the teleporter part so i would highly recommend not to die when you have the teleporter parts because i'm not sure and i don't want to risk this okay all right, so we're making our way down to the stairs, and you can see there's the teleporter. We gotta put our last teleporter part here. This is from the pyramid. There you go. We'll just hold E, and boom, we just did it. So now, as you can see, it says voice activated password needed, and now you need to put the password T3L3PORT, which is the developers. You know, the developers actually suggested this would be really easy, but people went as far as putting the Discord tag number of the developers. I actually gotta say this in the teleporter so let's do that really quickly we're in the teleporter now and i'll just copy and paste the code this will be in the description by the way so you don't have to you know type it out there we go let's just paste it in and okay there we go oh yes we're doing it we're doing it yes yes 
Yes, we're in the game. Let's go. All right, now we just got to head over to this gate right over here. And as you can see, we can actually click on it. So we actually got to rotate these pillars. So as you can see, we got to rotate this one to the house. The first one, we got to rotate the house. I think that's the house. Now the next one, we got to rotate this to the sun. So let's do that. That's a car. So that's incorrect. All right. Okay. That's a sun for sure. Now the next one, we got to do the bag. So that looks like a hat. Okay. That's a sun. So that is incorrect. Okay. There, it looks like a money bag. And okay, I think that's correct. Now the last one should be a teleporter. So... Uh, that's a bag, so obviously that is wrong. I mean, this kind of looks like a teleporter, but it's not. It's also not a plane either. It's not a car. I think I did the first one wrong. Yeah, I think I did the first one. The first one's supposed to be a house, guys. The first one should be a house. There we go. We did the house. All right, there we go. I think we did it. Now we just need to make this into a teleporter, which I think is that tall building-looking thingy. I don't know. Oh, oh, there we go. It's all green. <gasps> we got it. <gasps> Look at the side. Oh my goodness. We got, okay, what's going on here? The gate is now open. Okay. Shadow, shadow figure. You shouldn't have come here. Uh, he's talking to Cluck Donald. I don't know who the shadowy figure is, but it's part of the Man City story. Cluckles, I know. I just wanted to talk to you personally about, uh, uh, here, he's not able to finish. Sorry, this is my best impression. Shadowed figure, silence. I have instructed you to destroy Mad City, and you have failed despite five attempts. I think those are like the five bosses. Cluckles, I'm sorry, please. I beg for your forgiveness. Okay, yeah. Don't forgive him, please. No, you're out of chances. Goodbye, Cluckles. Yep, Cluckles gone, guys. Like the like the building in Mad City. <laughs> no, wait. Just give me one more chance. I will succeed this time. I promise. Yeah, like you, you did five times. You didn't succeed. Good, good job. I won't risk my succession on your accidents anymore. Goodbye. Okay, this is this shadowy figure is trying to creep me out. No, wait. Oh no, oh no, Cluckles is fading. No, oh rip, shadowed figure. What are you doing here? Uh oh, am I, am I gonna die now? This is not good. Hello and oh oh oh. Uh, what's going on? Why is there things you know beeping here? I don't know. There's technical difficulties, guys. Technical difficulties. Okay. All right, now I'm heading to a match of the game. Let's go! I think we defeated. That was like the sort of cut scene that they said it'll be at the end. Now that was really, really sick. All right, now I just gotta wait. All right, we're here in Mad City. So I heard you get a reward. I'm actually the top 100 to get it. So I'm actually the 69th person to actually get it, which is pretty insane. And oh, Cyber Plane. Yeah, this is it. Why can't I spawn it though? Okay, this is weird. This is weird. All right, so we're here now. And I'm not that sure, but as you can see, there's the cyber plane. And, oh, whoa, this thing is like 10 feet tall. What is this? Oh, my God, how many seats are there? There's an enter driver, but there's no other. Maybe there's other seats. I'm, I don't know. Enter driver. Oh, there's like an R feature and an F feature, too. So there's missiles, and then there's also R. I don't know what that does, but, oh, whoa, it goes insanely fast. Oh, my goodness, this is crazy. What is this? This is, my goodness. Oh, this took so long. Well, thank you guys for watching. Anyway, as you can see, this is my profile. I'm refreshing. There it is. How many people actually got it? I'm actually curious. All right, let's scroll all the way down. 74. I'm actually the 69th person to get this. Anyway, that took so long. That took three hours, guys. Anyway, hopefully this helped you get closer to it. I'll make like a full guide where I don't cut any parts out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.